Hello, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lori Gamble, and I'm a psychotherapist here in Austin, Texas. And today I'm gonna to be talking about this book, Will I Ever Be Good Enough? Healing the Daughters of Narcissistic Mothers. And it's so interesting to me how um, I have so many female clients that come in and this shows up. And this is about childhood wounding, obviously, and the attachment that uh, girls have with their mothers starting from very early on. And uh, narciss basically, this is about narcissistic mothers and uh, their daughters and um, how to heal from having a narcissistic mother. So a narcissistic mother sees her daughter more than her son as an extension of herself. Um, she puts pressure on her to react and feel and think just the way she does. Um, from very early on, even as an infant, um, these mothers don't bond well with their daughters. And they're so self-absorbed that they can't really um, be there in an appropriate way for their infant daughter when she cries, when she needs something, um, when she's in distress, and can often find her daughter more of an annoyance than um, this wonderful little being that she is. Um, let me give you a little bit of some traits of a narcissistic mother. I'm going to read out of Carol's book. Um, she has a grandiose sense of self-importance. By the way, um, the movie Mommy Dearest is a very good example of a narcissistic mother, as you may imagine. Uh, she has a grandiose sense of self-importance. She exaggerates achievements and talents, expects to be recognized as superior without commensurate achievements. This woman is preoccupied with vanity. Obviously, this is the narcissistic mother is preoccupied with fantasies of unlimited success, power, brilliance, beauty, or ideal love, believes that he or she is special and unique, can only, and unique and can only be understood by or should associate with other special, special or high status people or institutions. She requires excessive admiration. She has a sense of entitlement that is, unreasonable expectations of especially favorable treatment or automatic compliance with his or her expectations. Uh, is interpersonally exploitive. Example, takes advantage of others to achieve his or her own ends. Lacks empathy, is unwilling to recognize or identify with the feelings and needs of others. Is often curious of others or believes that others are envious. I'm sorry, not curious is often envious of others or believes that others are envious of her, shows arrogance, haughty behaviors, or attitudes. And so um, what happens when a mother doesn't bond with her daughter? This child grows up to be someone, as I described in my previous um, video, codependent. And uh, because this little girl gets very good at taking care of her mother's feelings instead of her own and recognizing her own, because really, you know, a, a narcissistic parent, um, the balance is wrong, right? In a healthy parent-child relationship, the parent takes care of the child's feelings, validates the child's feelings, mirrors back to the child, um, what, what, what the parent thinks they're feeling, and then listens if they get it wrong and, and um, can be present for that. A narcissistic parent, it's like they, 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 they glom onto this child um, as a source of getting their own needs met. So the child is taking care of the parent's feelings um, instead of the other way around. And so it's easy to imagine how this little person would grow up then to have codependent um, traits and behaviors and pick people in relationships that they can care for because they've got such good experience at this. Um, 
So I don't want to make this video too long. Um, again, you know, the first half of the book is about the traits and characteristics and um, how, how this is so difficult. She gives some case studies again, um, just like the book I, I uh, reviewed last week, which by the way, I will link down below in case you haven't watched that video or you want to take a look at that book. Um, but basically, treatment begins with assisting clients in getting out of denial and um, letting go of denial and recognizing these internalized messages that they have from having a narcissistic mother, um, uh, being educated about, she talks about this, Carol talks about this in her book, being educated about um, the, what a healthy family looks like versus a family parented by a narcissistic mother. And then she wraps it up with learning how to love yourself and care for yourself. Remember, as I said in my last video, people with codependency don't know how to take care of themselves. So she talks about some similar things, um, but she also gets into you know the, the real basics of getting enough sleep and rest, exercise, eating healthy, making regular doctor and dental appointments, um, um, that sort of self-care, the, the real basics. So if this sounds like you at all, or if you're a clinician and it sounds like one or more of your clients, I would recommend this. And if you like my video, please like it. And if you do um, subscribe, please subscribe and hit the subscribe button. And if you make a comment about this video, I will pick someone randomly to send this book to. It's a brand new book um, and I'm sure you'll enjoy it. And I will see you in my next review.